so, so at the minute, the way it works is we have like 10 different versions of each thing, um, and then it picks randomly from that, but, but what we're going to implement in a couple of weeks is um, we're going to give each creature its own sort of language made up of 20 to 30 phrases, and they'll, then they'll randomly combine at different lengths as well. So, so you end up with this really kind of cohesive, but still ever-changing like, dialogue between the creatures in the game. Yeah, which so is that's cool. something I was doing. Yeah. Just yeah. making loads of different sounds, but trying to make them sound cohesive with the language of an animal. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like an actual creature rather than just like a conjunction. Yeah. Strange, it's, cool, but not very cohesive sounds. So. Yeah, it's just pushing that sense of realism, pushing yeah. that sense of immersion through reality which is something that we need to reflect in well pretty much all walks of development <laughs> all walks of all I've, literally, I've literally never heard say, someone say so much and yet so little at the same time so we just need to make that that realistic world immersive so, yeah. dynamic Buzzword. so yeah just trying to get the creatures to sound like actual creatures yeah. is obviously very important since there's not going to be any visual to kind of lead you to believe it's something, yeah. which is something that I've been researching quite a lot. I was talking to my dad about it at the weekend because it was his birthday. Happy birthday, dad. <laughs> and um, we were basically talking about how it, sounds can be quite subpar, provided that it, the visual leads you to believe a certain narrative to do with the sound. So like you could see an explosion, you'd be like, oh, that sound, the explosion sounded cool because it was linked to the visual. Yeah. But then if you see the explosion, if you just hear the explosion on its own it's without cool. the visual, you could actually think, oh, that sounds quite bad. I've noticed that AAA games, sometimes they skimp quite a lot on sound quality or sound yeah. production. Because obviously the, vi cause we're the visuals are leading driven, you yeah, they, they lead you quite a lot. So it's something that I've been like thinking we need to... Yeah. Because it's all audio, it's got to be real good. The premise of the, like, the character constructions as well is making the characters so like unique and distinctly kind of recognisable mm. without any visual aid whatsoever. So yeah. obviously like when I'm writing the characters, I'm doing it with kind of visual information in mind. So what the director looks like or what Finn looks like, but obviously you don't get to see that. So we've got to construct the characters in such a way that makes them so so distinct and, and clear just through their dialogue. Yeah. Um, which like, is interesting, but it's... Auditory cues is a big thing. Yeah, so yeah. Whenever like, the director might walk towards you, they'll exactly. be like a cane and yeah. very distinct footsteps and that sort of thing. 100%. Yeah. So these little sort of signifiers that, that help That's help the, the player... There it is. I help the player... <laughs> <laughs> signifiers. Signifiers, <laughs> done. Um, that help the player kind of, yeah, sort of understand each character and, yeah. and understand their kind of inward and outward expression. Uh, just through auditory cues. I guess those kinds of things feed into their language as well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Like especially the cane and stuff. That's yeah. literally synergistic with with yes. that Synergy. with the director's kind of whole role and character. So yeah, it's the connotations of little things like that. Yeah. Like you're led to believe that because he has a cane, that he is probably therefore dressed uh, in a way that would accommodate the cane. <laughs> maybe he's just got a peg leg. Like, like, yeah. yeah, maybe. The maybe maybe he's just pirate. Pirate. I don't really want there to pirates. be pirates. Yeah. Maybe he could <laughs> be one of the pirate pirates. like raider ringleader. He's infiltrated the scene. But he's actually a pirate. We could have like a one in a hundred chance that pirates pass by. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that would be sand raiders are a thing. Like I've written them in there. So yeah. they're, they're in the law, yeah. Yeah. So it, we were we talking about that in spoons, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Like we were gonna have the sand pirates and they sail yeah. the, they take the, the great refugees. Seas. Yeah. Yeah. June style. Yeah. They June could have like buggies but with wheels, but they could have sails I could GM. do that. Yeah. 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 I think that's a cool. June yeah. pirate. Make some with, like, pirates. Yeah. Just oh, zoom past yeah. the guy in the front like in Mad Max with the guitar. Yeah, the it's yeah, just yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> it's so sick, though. Yeah. Cool. All right, sweet. Yeah. Done. Good stuff.